What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Trading Learning 101. This video is going to be tips and tricks on how to look at charts, different types of charts, and different examples. Psychology when looking at charts. What are other people looking at in different ways of looking at stock charts? Let's jump into it. So if you're just learning about the stock market, you're just learning about reading charts, or you've been reading charts, and you want to pick up different ways to look at charts. What's the big picture? What's everybody else looking at? There's psychology behind it, because you want to see what everybody else is seeing. What's the big picture and working your way in? I'll bring over the desktop right here. This is from My Investing Club. This is Bao. He's one of the best day traders the past 10 years. And the charts that he looks at are just simple line charts. That's what he uses. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. This is candlestick charts. Just looking real quick and changing from candlestick to line charts. You don't get the wicks that you do with candlestick charts you just get the closing price of the line that's it and you get you get a better picture with line charts to see you see how when the price moves up it makes the sharp point right there and comes right back down even at the bottom you can really see with line charts an area of interest an area a price area you could see right here seven dollars 750 it struggled in this area and again right here at 850 and 825 and when it comes down you could see it's pointing down at the 725 level when you zoom out and look at it like i said you just get a better picture of what the price action is doing what price areas are being accepted, what price areas are being rejected. Like at the end right here, you could see it pinpointed right here at 1045, right there and right there. And when you look at bigger time frames, let me switch this back to candlestick salad and go to, let's go to the 65 minute chart. And we'll switch this from candlestick to a line chart. You can just clearly see the difference from a line to a candlestick chart. It just looks a little bit better. But you want to look as well because it could also paint the picture better for you. Looking at charts in different ways. Candlesticks, bar charts, line charts, mountain charts. I'm not too much of a fan of point and figure. I don't even really know how to read point and figure charts. But I stick with candlestick, line charts, and bar charts. That's what I like. Bringing back up the internet right here. When you go to websites such as bigcharts.com, the default chart that comes up is bar charts. When you go to stockcharts.com, the default charts that come up are candlestick charts. But what are the default moving averages that pop up? The simple moving average 200 and the simple moving average 50. This is the default settings on this website. And then same thing when you go to finviz.com and you type in a stock and look at the chart, it's presenting to you candlestick charts and what's always going to be the settings for the moving averages. Every It doesn't matter any ticker you type in, the automatic settings for the moving averages are the 20, the 200, and the 50. And just to show you the SPY, we'll type that in. The default moving averages, 50, 220. A lot of people are going to be seeing these moving averages, so why not plot them on your charts? You want to see what everybody else is looking at. I'll bring back up over the daily right here, and that's exactly what I did. I plot out the blue line is the 50-day. The red line is the 200 day. I threw in the 100 day moving average because I want to track that one. And the orange line is the 13 EMA because I want to track that one. But the general idea is you want to see what other people are looking at. A lot of times these moving averages, most of the time, not all of the time, will act as 
key support and resistance levels. Why? Because other people are seeing that and they're trading off of those indicators. Again, let's pull up the SPY. We'll look at this at the 30 minute. This is the 30 minute right here. Looking at it in a candlestick point of view, zoomed out. Let's change it from candlestick to a line chart. And it's pretty much the same concept as candlesticks, really. You're just not seeing the emotions of the green and the red candles. You're just seeing a plotted line. That's it. And you're seeing these sharp points at the top and at the bottom of where prices are being rejected at and where they're it's finding support at. And when you can do that, you can paint an overall picture of what's happening. Throwing, get just practice throwing trend lines on all of these, drawing out support lines, just doing this over and over and over again. Practice, 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 and you'll get better and you'll get faster the more you do it every single day. You gotta put your time in. And we switch back here to the candlestick salad, pretty much just the same thing. You're not just seeing the emotions of the candlesticks, like I said. You're just seeing the lines. But also going through and looking at different YouTubers, top traders. Another one is Tim Sykes is a top trader. I mean, he really doesn't post too much of technical analysis on YouTube anymore, but when you go back to his old videos from three plus years ago, when he does these technical analysis videos, he's looking at candlestick charts, but he'll pull up websites like bigcharts.com and he'll use the same thing showing you. He's looking at what other people are looking at and that's why it's good to use a lot of these free sites like Finviz, bigcharts.com, and stockcharts.com because people who are just starting off to learn about day trading, day traders, a majority of them are cheapskates and they don't want to pay for trading platforms. They want to use what's free out there. They don't want to invest in scanners. They want to use the free websites that give them the biggest percentage gainers, where, the, where they can find where the volume's at, you want to look at what all they're looking at so you could take advantage of them. That's what it's all about. Be that wolf, the wolf of Wall Street that is on the prowl and you're hungry. Take an advantage of all these noobs. I hate to say it, but it's the honest truth. The more you dedicate yourself to this and push yourself and learn this game, the more odds are in your favor because you're going to know what you're doing compared to a newbie that doesn't know what he's doing and is just throwing his money into the market. You're that professional who's here every day, studying every day, putting in that screen time. You're going to know what to do when the opportunities arise. You're going to know when to sit on your hands. You're going to know when to attack. And you're just going to develop a strategy and a game plan that revolves around your personality. But again, just going through and looking at how other people traders trade what they're looking at and taking in what they're looking at and putting it all together just going through like I said Ricky Gertez how does he look at charts I'm sure he's got a lot of these videos he uses think or swim look at how he looks at charts what's he looking at on the daily the intraday chart Brian Shannon another one he's got a lot of technical analysis you can see it right here what indicators are he using when he looks at when he's looking at the daily charts see all these moving averages that he's using he's just using he's looking at the weekly he's got the 10 moving average the 20 the 40 and the 30 plotted out and he's a well-known trader in technical analysis he's got over 6,000 views 20,000 subscribers so you gotta think if he's gonna have followers, they're gonna pull, they're gonna plot on their charts what he's got plotted on his charts, and you want to see what everybody else is seeing. This is just a lot of tips and tricks on the fly. I'm just running through this video. I want to try to help you guys out. I'm helping you guys out. Help me out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video.
Here's another one right here. This guy's got a thousand viewers, 6.4 thousand subscribers. What's he looking at when he looks at charts? Again, more trend lines. He's got simple moving averages plotted out on here. How is he looking at these charts? What time frames is he looking at? See, he's got a, a moving average of a 43, 28. Just simple moving averages that he uses. The more traders you learn from, the better you'll, you will advance your learning curve to learn this game. And you'll see the many different strategies that are out there. And you could pick, literally, you could pick what you want and what you don't want and focus on that and tweak it to your liking. That's what's great about the market. The more time you put into this, the more time you put into studying, the more time you learn from your mistakes, put your screen time in, the better you will get every single day. It's like the 10,000 hour rule. You practice something for 10,000 hours, you become a master at it. But it's hard becoming a master of the stock market because the market is always changing. Trends are always changing. Market goes up and down. Market's changing every single day, every week, every month, every year. That's why you got to stick with it every day and observe. Never predict what the market's going to do. Never predict. Don't listen to none of these analysis that are on TV. CNN, CNBC, even the biggest stock group guru out there. Don't listen to what anybody has to predict what's going to happen because nobody can predict what's going to happen. What you want to do is just simply react every day. React to what the market is telling you. What is the stock market telling you today? That's all. And when it's telling you what's happening, you just simply react. That's it. And it's all about risk management controlling your risk you want you always want more reward than risk look at your portfolio as a business every day you come into this game every single day you sit down at that desktop at that computer look at your portfolio as a business every move you make everything you do always put your business first is this the right decision for my business is this going to hurt my business or is this going to grow my business? Every decision you make counts. And having that attitude and coming here every day with that mindset, it's hard. It really is. You, you do not want to just blow your portfolio away because all it takes is for one trade to blow up your whole account and months worth of work is out the window. And then that deflates your emotion, your motivation, it just destroys everything. Who wants to start back over from zero? You know, every day, it's just all about adding those skeins up and up and up and up and cutting those losers fast and learning from as many people as you can and just sticking with it and going after it. I just wanted to make a quick motivational video for you guys out there on what it takes pretty much to get this game and try to be successful at it you got to stick with it and you got to go at it a hundred percent don't listen to what anybody has to say you can learn from everybody but don't ever ever if someone's making predictions about what's going to happen don't listen to them don't because the majority of the time they're wrong you gotta remember 90 percent of people lose money in the stock market only 10 percent succeed and it's, it might be even smaller than that. I'm pretty sure it is. But always do your own research and just practice. It's simple. Just practice and practice and practice and always observe what's going on. Always observe what's going on and just react to what the market's telling you. You can see right here, plotting out trend lines. Plotting out trend lines is very important. This was in a trend here, going sideways for a long time. And then it finally cracked below that support trend line. And then look it. More times than none, just like patterns, it came right back up. Tested that old support line. It's the new resistance. And it fell right back down. If you guys have any video ideas, leave a comment down below for any video ideas. I'll be more than happy to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and join the Trading Learning 101 community. All right, guys, until next time, have that patience, 
have that discipline, and study, study, study. All right, everyone. Later.